officials are warning about beach safety following the death of a Virginia teen killed when a sand dune collapsed into a hole at Cape Hatteras National Seashore. News Channel 12's Deja Mayfield has what you need to know to keep you and your family safe at the beach this summer. She joins us live from Emerald Isle. Yeah, Val, after what happened last weekend at Cape Hatteras, deep digging and beach safety are now top of mind for emergency service officials right here in Emerald Isle. And over the course of the next few months, we expect hundreds of thousands of people to make their way to beaches just like this one here on Emerald Isle. But Deputy Chief William Mathias tells me he wants people to be safe while they're here too. Mathias says, although it isn't often that he responds to instances of people being trapped in sand here on the beach, he says all law enforcement officials and lifeguards undergo extensive training and education so they're ready to respond. Mathias also tells me that there's even a town ordinance in place to eliminate deep holes on the beach because of this law. Any hole in the sand that's deeper than 12 inches must be filled in completely before leaving the beach. It's something that works to protect not only beachgoers, but the marine life that live here too. It's a danger uh, for bystanders, not just with your party, but with responders coming to an emergency scene, also marine life, uh, and then and essentially those people that are digging those holes, uh, not digging them uh, deep. You want to keep those holes shallow. Digging them down in the, in the tidal marks in the sand, uh, that water can in, in come onto you and uh, further uh, make that sand structure unstable. With us being in sea turtle nesting season, Emerald Isle plays a large part in providing an environment for those sea turtles. But with deep holes, Matthias says they can hinder sea turtles, trapping them and making it nearly impossible for them to make it back to the ocean. And as far as that town ordinance, uh, Matthias tells me that law enforcement officials do issue a civil citation for people who dig those holes and don't fill them back up. But he says education is what's most important here. He wants people to know, know the dangers of deep digging so that they can have a fun and safe summer too. Live in Carteret County, I'm Deja Mayfield for News Channel 12.